What is ASP? ASP stands for Active Server Pages. In the old days, when the web first started, all web pages were static. That means they didn't change. Companies could list their products and services, their contact information, but all that information was the same for every visitor to the website. If you wanted to have something like a shopping cart or an order status lookup or even customer information online, you couldn't do it. Active server pages came along and now web developers could have different types of content available based on the user. You could have order status lookups, you could have different product lists or pricing information based on different customers, you could build full service shopping carts. All of that stuff came about because technologies like active server pages allow the web server to change the information that is presented to the browser, to the visitor of the website, based on different criteria. As you'll see in a few minutes, there's nothing really special about an active server pages web page. Just like HTML is a certain way of formatting the information on the page, active server pages is a scripting language, just plain text, that is embedded in the code on the page that the web server can look at to change the information on the web page. For example, something simple like displaying the date and time simply was not possible before scripting languages. Now with ASP, the web server can see the code to insert the current date and time in the page and then change the web page accordingly by displaying the current date and time. I'll show you an example of this in a few minutes. Just like there are tags to change HTML code, like simply bolding text, there are also tags to display certain things in ASP, such as displaying the current date. It works just like HTML. You insert tags in HTML to change the way the page looks. You insert tags in ASP to insert data or do other things, and we'll talk about some of those other things in a little bit. You'll hear me use the term script, an ASP script. Well, what is a script? A script is a series of programming codes embedded in a web page to execute commands or display information. For example, just a second ago, I showed you a really tiny script to display the current date. You can also use scripts to do things like display customer information from a database or include whole other web pages inside of your page. There's all kinds of different things you can do with a script. Now, there are two main types of scripts. There are client-side scripts and server-side scripts. Client-side scripts run completely in the browser. Examples of this are JavaScript, VBScript, there's a bunch of other ones. Your web browser does all the work. In other words, if you want to do something like have a timer or move some text around the screen or change certain values based on mathematical calculations, you can do all that stuff directly in the browser without the web server having to be involved at all. Those are called client-side scripts. On the other hand, server-side scripts are completely processed on the web server first, then the HTML, the result of the script, is sent down to the browser. The benefit is that the browser doesn't have any work to do, plus if you have certain information that's secured, for example, usernames and passwords, customer information, all that stuff can be handled on the server, and then only the results sent down to the browser. So server-side scripts are essential for doing any kind of secure work on the web. And you'll see some examples of how server-side scripts work a little bit later. The main downside of a client-side script is that all of your source code, the entire script itself, has to be sent down to the browser so the browser can do the work. And that's just fine for things like basic math. If you have a couple of fields in a form and you want to be able to add them up, that's okay. But if you've got sensitive information, like the user has to send a username and password that has to be validated, you obviously can't send that down to the browser because anybody can simply pull up the HTML script right inside their web browser. So things like that have to be processed on the server first, and that's where server-side scripts are essential. ASP, Active Server Pages, is of course a server-side script.
if the user looks at the information that was sent down from the web server after getting an ASP page, all he sees is basic HTML. There's no scripting language at all sent to the browser. 